Hi guys, I'm Brandon and I'm with Wagstaff Auto Detailing and today's video is about van partitions. Should you get one or should you not? And I'm here to clear up some of the uncertainty about van partitions. When I was getting my van set up and a lot, a, like a lot of you guys, you're, you probably have your van and there's no partition and you're probably wondering, should I get a partition and how much is it going to cost or should I just ignore the fact and go without. And when I was setting up mine, going through the beginnings process, I even had a guy tell me, hey bud, you don't need to get the partition. You know what, actually, I know a lot of people that don't have it and they, they like it without it because they can put their seat back more and all this stuff. And I thought to myself, you know what, that, that kind of makes sense and it kind of confused me further but you know, that was bad advice, you guys. Um, I'm here to tell you, you need a partition and don't let these big van upfitter stores scare you away from getting your partition. When I was researching, trying to get mine, my first idea was to call van stores and ask, hey, how much does it cost to get one of these installed? And I called about three or four places and all of the quotes were over $1,000, well over 1,000. And I thought that was crazy for just a little center divider, $1,300, $1,250, $1,150, that was way too much money. So I, I, I waited on it and I kept researching and I ended up coming across a really good website called Up upfitsupply.com upfitsupply.com and they were selling this thing for around 450 bucks and um, it fluctuates anywhere from around 400 to around 550 and um, also if you look around you can find this partition at a van upfit store and you can get it for around the same price and then for after you acquire this piece, you can then figure out how it's going to get installed because it is a little technical to get installed. And, um, but that's a whole nother story. You have to figure out how much their labor costs and how much the install is, but it shouldn't be more than a hundred bucks. So you can get your partition bought and paid for and installed for around 600 bucks. I got really lucky the people were busy at the time uh, when I got it installed, the lady at the front desk, and she said, hey, just leave us a review and I'll give you the install for free. So I got this thing after taxes and installed for no more than 500 bucks, I believe. And I'll go ahead and show you guys. Here's the upfit.com. And this is the van partition that I have. And this is what it's going for around right now. So what are some of the reasons why you need a partition? Well, one reason is for me, and this is going to sound kind of crazy, you guys, but it set the vibe for my work van. This is a work van. And when I'm in my, in my cab and I have my partition behind me, it feels it's like a whole experience i feel like i'm going to work it's a, it's a it just makes it feel like a work van type feel um number two obvious reasons security safety okay this van will protect this this partition will protect you from any equipment flying forward in a head-on collision also this will prevent people from breaking into your cargo area if you get some heavy duty puck locks and you apply them onto your van doors it makes it like a safe you they're called puck locks you can get them at upfitsupply.com too you're going to want to look into that if you uh going to keep your van outdoors or somewhere on the street or an apartment complex you want to make sure you have great security on your van um, another thing to know about partitions is the variations they have now this is a steel partition and a steel partition is a little more noisier. It rattles a little bit. 
it doesn't bother me. I do feel it vibrating and rattling a little bit here and there. I, I can hear it. it. That doesn't bother me too much. Um, like I said, I enjoy it. It's, it. It gives me a work uh, van feel when I hear the steel rattling a little bit. Um, but if that's going to bother you, you can go up to the next tier up, which is a composite material. It's like a fiberglass material. It's very, very quiet. It's still secure, strong, and effective, but it's not going to rattle like a steel rattle noise at all. Um, so the, you have those two. You have your steel and your composite, and then you also have a screen. You can get a screen um, see-through partition. But I like this solid piece because in the winter or in the summer, um, when I'm cooling my cab with my AC or I'm heating it with the heater, with this partition, it's going to um, create a smaller area inside of my cab so the air conditioner or the heater doesn't have to work too hard to, to, to um, heat or cool that area. So I like that also. Also, any smells or any noise from the background, it's going to make it a lot quieter. The van may have noise uh, vibration from, from everything back here. That's going to keep it quieter. Um, so you have those few options. Also, with partitions, some of them have uh, screen windows here. You can, on, on some of the um, composites, they're a full composite, like a, just a full divider like this one, or you have a partial composite with a, like a plastic window. And with these ones, sometimes you have a partial steel divider with a partial um, screen windows there. So it's up to you if you want to be able to look back in there. For me, I'm really good at driving. I trust my driving. There's no windows in the back anyways. I can't see, so I just like to close it off from the front area. But that's pretty much it, guys, for this partition video. Um, I will take the camera and give you guys a close-up on my partition, and we will close it out from there. Also, another um, idea is you can get your partition custom-made. You can make a partition from diamond plate, aluminum, steel. You can, you can make your own. And the way the partitions are installed is there's some bolts up there. There are bolts here. And there's, there's bolts down here that actually go right into the pre-drilled holes in the van, the ones that have the eye bolt. Um, things or fasteners in there they drill there's about two of them it's very simple probably the hardest part is assembling this it comes into in a big long box almost looks like a flat screen tv box and there's all kinds of screws and you have to assemble it and a cool thing about having a divide a partition is you can actually mount things you can mount some polishers some shelves you can secure things to it and that is it, guys. I really appreciate your support. As always, we are a new channel and we're trying to grow. So all the subscribes really, really help in this beginning process. We're going to be starting some giveaways starting at 300 subscribers. If you go to Wagstaff Auto Detailing on Instagram and follow our Instagram page and you mess DM me on that platform and um, right when we hit 300 subscribers, we're going to be giving away a water tank. We're going to be giving away a pressure washer hose. We have all kinds of little accessories. If you have a 50-foot vacuum cox reel, um, we have an elbow that we're going to be giving away that attaches to the elbow that runs your vacuum line to your back to your vacuum inside the van. And we have a, a, a bunch of other things. And we're going to be giving giveaways every 100 subscribers all the way up to when we reach our first 1,000 subscribers. It's going to be monumental, guys. And we really appreciate all the support. If you like this video, 
please go ahead and give us a like. And if you really liked it, please uh, subscribe to the channel. And we're going to be doing everything auto detailing from grow from all this stuff to growing a business from the ground up with zero customers and showing how we're going to build our clientele base and giving tips and tricks and uh, um, strategies about that. So thank you guys so much. And as always, we will see you on the next one. Take care.